To understand the rasopathies, the largest group of genetic conditions that affect learning and development, we need to first understand how the cells in our body communicate with or talk to each other. We all come from a single cell. That cell copies itself millions of times to create trillions of cells that will turn into a human being. How trillions of cells make a liver, lungs, heart, a brain, etc. requires communication between the cells. You may be surprised to learn that cells do indeed talk to each other to make sure that they are behaving properly. This very complex process works like this. One cell sends a signal, like a protein molecule, which carries specific information to other cells. Those cells have receivers on them and can decide to accept the signal and the information it carries. If accepted, the information enters the cell and is passed from one protein to the next like a baton is passed from person to person in a relay race. When the information is received by the final protein in the relay, a response is triggered. The response may be instructions for the cell to copy itself and multiply, to grow, to change its function, or for it to die. As you can see, the responses can be very different, so it's really important that cells communicate just the right amount at the right time and the right place. In other words, cell communication in our bodies has to be well controlled for babies to develop normally and for our bodies to work properly, such as during wound healing, heart development, growth and learning. But if any of the proteins that send or receive signals aren't working properly and are not communicating in the right way, the cell may not respond in the way that it should. This miscommunication can cause serious problems, especially because cell communication is so important for our body's normal development. A group of proteins that routinely send signals and communicate with each other is called a pathway. One important signaling pathway that is involved in how cells communicate is called the RAS pathway. A RASopathy is a genetic condition that is caused by changes in genes that code for proteins in the RAS pathway. Genes are the specific instructions, like a blueprint for making proteins to do the specific job in cells. Neurofibromatosis, Noonan, Cardiofacial Cutaneous, and Costello Syndrome are just a few of the rasopathies. Each is caused by a problem in the RAS pathway. Having a rasopathy means that there is a problem with one of the steps in the pathway. For example, one step may be triggered without an initial signal. It is like having the RAS relay team running the race in your cells even though the starting bell never rang. This causes the cell to respond to a signal that was never there, which leads to serious miscommunication between cells and serious consequences. For example, it may cause the cell to divide when in fact it should be dying. Here are some of the known genes that can cause a rasopathy. Rasopathies can be inherited from a parent who has the condition or it can happen for the first time in a child without any other family history. If an individual has a rasopathy, they have a 50% chance of having a child with the same condition. While each syndrome has its own unique features, all rasopathies can affect the brain, heart, skin, muscles, and eyes in similar ways. Individuals may have delays in their development, growth problems, similar facial features, feeding difficulties, bone problems, and in some cases, cancer. But not everyone with a rasopathy will have the same problems. Even people within a family who have the very same gene change can be affected differently. Researchers are trying to understand why this happens and to find other genetic causes of rasopathies. Because abnormalities of the RAS signaling pathway are also important for how some cancers develop in the general population, Researchers are trying to develop drugs that may repair the miscommunication in the cells that do not work correctly. This may help individuals with a rasopathy in the future as well. It could also be that rasopathy's research could help people with cancer. Rasopathy's Net is working hard to advance research on these genetic syndromes by connecting families, clinicians, scientists, and industry professionals, they hope to foster collaboration that leads to better treatments for the rasopathies. To learn more about the rasopathies, please visit rasopathiesnet.org.